Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about social engineering framework. Social engineering framework is a collection of small utility to help pen tester to automate the process of performing a small task that is required during penetration testing social engineering. The following tools are included in this framework. Safe mail, safe face, safe name and last one is safe payload. So first of all we have to download and install social engineering framework from below link you can see here you can download social engineering framework from here and uh, you can also see the description I just download social engineering framework from here and save it to my to my home directory now let's install some of the requirements so now next one is next one is ymail another one is cmd and last one and it will done once all of the module are installed simply execute the following command now just extract that file so tr-xvf and you can see here we successfully extracted that folder so just locate it to that directory now we are going to install social engineering framework so perl make file dot pf perl file now just type make and last one is make install now you are ready with social engineering framework so let's move to our first topic safe mail safe mail is used to generate list of email addresses for the purpose of performing phishing attack in bulk again a specific organization so now let's see the help about safe mail safe mails dash edge command and you can see the options you can use with safe mail now let's collect some email addresses I have used text file that is a co collection of different name for this example so first of all I just create text file called name.txt and enter some of this name ok save that file now use this file with safe mail safe mail dash t our target organization domain name dash n and name dot text file here I I use group option with it so and give output to email dot text file and press enter so just check that file get email dot text and you get in this preceding screen the D option is used to specify the domain of which we would like to generate a email and dash n is used to specify the file that contain the list of different names and the dash G is to use specify the group now move our next topic safe fish safe fish is a tool for sending out phishing emails in bulk to the target this tool is used ymail configuration file to make the work for the pen tester easier the config.yml you can see here config.yml file is included in the framework it is use CSV file to send phishing emails I suggest you set to send phishing email address it has many more options given for bypassing security mechanism so I just move to next topic safe name this safe names tool is useful to you want to extract name from the email address list it is work in similar way to safe mail the only difference is that is work in reverse order so let's see how it's work first of all we see the safe name help file and you can see here you can use 
list of options available so I just extract our email.txt file so save names dash d and google.com domain dash i extract from email.txt file dash s we give output to names.txt and we just check the file and you can see here names.txt just see the that file and you get the list of names that we extract from email addresses preceding example will display a list of names extracted from list of email IDs presented in input file now I we just move to next topic safe payload safe payload is used to generate a meta split meta payload that is that is useful once the ma machine need to be compromised set payload can help us create a payload file that is can be sent to multiple target machine through email using and local mail server such as SMTP for the Windows machine platform postfix mail server the syntax of safe payload is safe payload IP address port number name of the exploits and payload most of the time we discuss about hacking now it's time to defense so defacing uh, an enterprise network against ATP advanced persistent threat it is imp implement a layered series of controls there are three specific area of control that should be considered are security incident event management next one is data loss or leakage prevention system and last one is central filtering provider so that's all about social engineering framework please subscribe and give your valuable feedback and thanks for watching this video thank you so much